Hello and welcome to part four of the lithium ion battery management system project. In this part of the video, I am going to add in this 16 by two LCD screen to make this project just a little bit more user friendly. So this is a microtivity screen and I believe this is actually one of the cheaper ones that I could find on Amazon. It was like six bucks or something like that. So we'll see what we've got in here. A little card that shows the basic wiring. And they actually give you both sets of pin headers. That's interesting. Plus the potentiometer and a diode. Yeah, that's going to the uh, diode going into the backlight. I've never actually seen anyone put that in before. That's interesting. And then we got the display itself. So. All right, and then here we have the display itself. So just one of these standard 1602 style LCD displays, which are really easy to use with an Arduino. Libraries are all built into the software and everything like that. So it shouldn't be hard to get this thing up and running with our BMS project here. All right, so here we are. We have a working LCD screen. You'll see that if I plug the battery in now. There we go, we get initializing and the version that we're on of the code. And we have our cell voltages for one, two, and three. So at this point, relatively basic functionality, but I can show you one thing that this does do right now. If I shove some more current into it, you'll see, actually, let me get a close up on the, uh, on the LCD here. All right, this should work a little bit better. But if I turn my power supply on here and send some current into the battery, you'll see that I have the colons invert here. Let me turn that down a little bit because that's kind of a ridiculous amount of power going into the batteries. So anyway, what you can see here is when the balance circuits kick on, I actually invert the colon. So I had to make a custom character in order to do that, but that serves as an indicator to tell which cells are being balanced which, I mean, it should be enough of an indicator that they go over 4.2 volts. And one thing that I have noticed with this is sometimes it seems like they're on at 4.2 volts and sometimes it seems like they don't kick on at 4.2 volts, so I'm not entirely sure what the deal with that is. One thing you will notice is that the indicators on the LCD don't blink like the hardware indicators do. Of course, the hardware indicators are blinking because we have, or we have to shut the balance circuitry off in order to take a good measurement. These don't necessarily have to because they're software controlled, not hardware controlled. Uh, I intend to leave them like this. I'm not entirely sure I really like the inverted colon, the way that that looks on here. It's kind of weird, but it does work. If there's a better way to do this, I might uh, switch to that. But anyway, that's how it's set up right now. Now I will say another concern on this right now is that we're kind of running out of Arduino pins. I've got pins number, I think they're like five and six down in here. And then we have the RX and TX lines over on this side, which are pins one and zero. Though I tend not to really like to use the uh, RX and TX lines because of course that's what's used to program the chip. Uh, we still have some analog inputs on this side, but we are running out of pins at this point. I might look into getting one of the, uh, the I squared C LCD screens, which would take less pins at least. All right, so my plan right now is to essentially get a basic mock-up of the hardware finished, and then I'm gonna start working on the software and the programming for this thing. Uh, we're getting somewhat close to being finished with this, though there's a fair number of tweaks I still wanna make to it. Uh, one being I need to get a MOSFET in here so that I can shut off the incoming power if the voltage gets way too high. That would actually make this useful as like a solar charge controller 
if we add something like that onto it. Another thing it needs is obviously some way to interface with the LCD, so probably just some buttons, uh, something like that. You can make it fairly simple. I want to add a current sensor into this so we can tell how much current is going into the batteries as well. Uh, and of course we're going to add a main pack voltage and main pack current onto the uh, LCD as well. And another thing I want to look into is on the comments of the last video, somebody put a suggestion to a part that I should use. It's a, a better analog to digital converter, I think it's like 16 bits or something like that, which would give me a way better resolution than this. And also I think that part, I think when I looked it up that part actually had an internal voltage reference, so maybe I could use that as a uh, voltage reference instead of relying on this, you know, the Zener diode over here trying to get some kind of voltage reference going off of that. Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed the little update on the Arduino BMS. If you did, hit that like button. If you enjoy the idea of this project, you can hit the subscribe button so you'll see the next videos about this and you can also follow me on Twitter for some smaller updates on this project. That's it for now guys, bye.